Hello everybody, my name is Aceface. Today I wanted to show you how to use Aguila to run uh, T5 dark sites. And I already tested this, tested this a bit, but uh, we'll be doing further testing in this video right here, because I wanted to show you more. It seems to be running okay in the initial tests I've done. I want to explain to you how it works. So the Gila is characterized by being really bad in the abyssal dark sites. I'm going to be running now T5 darks. Oh, I'll buy some here. But the, the, the reason why they're not usually that good in darks is because... In darks, dark uh, abyssal sites, it halves the optimal range of uh, of everything. So it halves the optimal everything apart from missiles or any any kind of gun. And drones are counted as a gun, so this will make so that your drones have half the optimal range. This will then make it so that drones will have a really hard time hitting everything because they'll have tiny optimal ranges. The thing is, what I've done to bypass this is that I'm using these high grade hydras. Hydra implants they make it so that uh, you increase your missile range as well as drone uh, increase the drone's uh, applicability. And I believe it is that they um, drone tracking speed and drone optimal range. So the high grade hydras buff basically everything that is needed for the killer so, because it also uses missiles, which is just perfect. And I find it also a bit weird that they are all bonusing exactly what the killer uses, but that's just uh, a fun coincidence. I believe these are maybe Grist's implants. Okay, so we just plug these guys in. Now these cost quite a bit, so it'll be quite an expensive. Uh, uh, it'll be quite expensive, but the ship itself costs 800 million, so it's not extremely expensive for running T5s. The tank is not that amazing, actually. Full capacitor rigs because you want to have good cap stability in the abyss, and we're not running electricals this time, so we'll want to have ex uh, make sure we have stable even before we go in. You see, here, only 76 EHP per second, and a st uh, just one adaptive invuln uh, B type. Now the thing is. Most damage is not mitigated with the tank. Most damage is mitigated because we have an MWD. And the reason why the MWD is so effective in the dark sides is because in dark sides, you travel uh, faster. Like, everything is going really fast. Along with the enemies having a shorter range of their turrets. So, uh, they'll hardly hit you because they've got a shorter optimal range. Plus, you're going to be going so fast, it's going to almost be impossible for any uh, any of the people, to, uh, any of the enemies to hit you. And then you've also got this... Uh, I've also added this omnidirectional tracking link, which will then use a... Uh, an optimal range script here. This will increase our optimal range of drones. So it'll make them almost have equivalent applicability in a normal site. So in a non-dark site. So basically here what we're going to be doing is you know, whizzing around at high speeds, kiting everything and having our drones and missiles do the work with their uh, with the implants boosting them as well as this tracking link. So let's start. Let's add some uh, let's add some uh, missiles and then undock and launch into the abyss. All right, let's go. Abyssal launch site. Let's go. Chaotic dark. Now I got Kaldari navy vessels because these have even better uh, uh, applicability. The only problem here is that time is still going to be a bit of an issue because uh, they they're no like resistance reduced in dark sites, so we'll be doing effectively a little bit less DPS. But we'll still the Gila still does a lot of inherent DPS, so. We should be alright in that front. So here's the here's a very easy way. We just go out, take our Kaldari Navy Vespers, go for the we wanna go for anything that can tackle us, because we're gonna use our speed is gonna be what makes us survive most. We're very neat resistant with the dual batteries, so that shouldn't be much of an issue. So go for the webbing frigate first, and then go for this guy here. And then I've got crazy range of the light missiles because the hydras boost our missiles and we're getting tracking disruptors. So after this warden here, we're gonna wanna go for some actually confusers to be able to get that some extra range. Actually, go a bit closer to be able to be in range for using our missiles. Go launch a heavy missile launch on this guy just to get a bit of extra damage off. Okay, get a bit close. They're getting a bit too close for comfort right now. Okay, go a bit to the side. Okay, and we want to go for this confuser right here. Get all these confusers locked up. Actually, we can forget about the firewatch. His new thing will be uh, almost uh, negligible. And we've got an automatic dispresser right here. We want to go down a bit because we do not want to be in range of that because we're going to do less damage as well. Get some drone aggro. Um, all drones on the sleepers. And now it should be easy. We've got really good applicability on these cruisers right here. Let's go, let's go. We're getting closer to the boundary box. You do not want to be close to that. Manual piloting is important, guys. You do not want to just click like this because if you're uh, not paying attention, like if I click double click here into space, I'll just keep going infinitely. And uh, if you're not paying attention, you'll maybe die because of that. So we want to always double click like this. So we've got a set distance. 
good, 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 good. Now we've seen what one of that drone, that sleeper drone there is going ham on my drones because you can see it's not targeting us. It's targeting one thing, something else. And that is my drones. So, but it should be alright. We've got tanking him. Because the thing is, these guys have half the range. So they can barely do any damage at all. We had to get a bit closer now. Our range, 42 kilometers. Nice. Hydra's doing real work, good work here. I'm going to stop firing a little bit because we're not in range. Just launch that, that one missile here. Turn the volume a bit down, it's quite loud. Quite weapon sounds, yes please. Let's launch our heavy missile launchers. Okay, okay. Uh, okay we go. Good, good, good. This guy. Then we want to go for this guy. Because actually, I want to take out the sleeper frigates after this because they have remote reps. Uh, all of them have inherent remote reps, you'll see here. You can see here, getting some remote reps on. And we want to. We don't want to have... Oh! Yep, this is what I mean. This is what I mean. You, you have to pay attention. Get out of here, please. But it's alright, you know. No, no, alright, we got very good survivability, right? Just uh, that was a bit of a mistake on my end. We don't want to go too far to pay attention. You know, there's a lot of stuff going on. You're managing targets. And then this is in the, the boundary box is also there. And it's also invisible, so it's a bit hard to always notice it. Get that heavy missile off, off him because you do not want that. Okay, that's good. Good, good, good. Get drones. drones. Come on, drones. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, so time is not looking that good right now. I want to have about uh, average five minutes per site. Uh, we do not want to have uh, more than that because you want to. I always like to keep a little bit of that five minute buffer just in case something messes up. Going drones. Okay, so we have to keep attacking these things here. It seems to be a very smooth, very smooth. We do not want to go out again. Keep going. Okay, let's get to, to the, the origin conduit. Good, good, good. I want to look how much DPS we have here. Seven forty DPS, so decent DPS. I mean, we're, we are using blinged out damage, drone damage amps, so that's why. Okay, almost approaching that five minute mark. Not so good, but. Not much left. Just three and a half cruisers left. Should be pretty good. The wave I'm worried most about is wrecking shots by Charybdis Tyrannus. Because we do not want him to go crazy on us with those wrecking shots. But the thing is, Charybdis will do so little damage because uh, of the uh, of the reduced optimal range. We just want to go for anything uh, that can tackle us. So spearfishes or anchoring damavix. Those are going to be big issues we could potentially have. Oh wait, keep it range, actually keep it range. Yeah, I want to keep it range because then you'll be instantly in range to go through the gate when you're done. Okay, last uh, last cruiser. And for some reason on CC my hotkeys are not working. The shift F makes the drones go back, but it's not working. This is really bad time, six minutes. I don't honestly I don't think running darks is worth it even if, even though this fit seems to be working because the filaments cost quite a bit and time will make you have less power so I don't think it's honestly worth it electrical is a lot less a lot easier and you got um, you also got the easier applicability confuses got high newtings not obfuscators please Keep it range, manual pilot around this area. Uh, yeah, we're going so fast they cannot catch up with us. Got lots of newts on grid, but it should be fine. Sleeper cruisers do not newt that hard, it's only if there are a lot of them like this it will be an issue. We are so far that their newting ability is reduced quite a bit because of the distance because newting gets less effective the further you are away you can always double click here get the drones on them that's good often people use webs and that's when people use ab fits in darks i've seen before the thing is, we're so far away, so we're not usually able to use. We're not able to use our web, so it's just this omnidirectional tracking enhancer works better. 
We do not want to be in the orange cloud. We're going to use extra power from our shield booster. We do not want that to happen. Mm -hmm. Keep a distance here. Okay, they're getting a bit closer now. Don't want them to be too close. The abyss looks. The dark abyss looks pretty, uh, pretty cool actually. I have to say, I like this kind of dark color scheme. But there's no color, so it looks almost like you're playing in black and white. Looks a bit boring, but I think it looks kind of like on like scary and gives a bit of feel for that this is a dangerous place in the abyss. I wish we would get more interesting waves. It's just sleeper cruises are really boring. I can imagine Damovic waves are quite uh, dangerous because of the uh, anchoring ones. But as long as we can destroy the anchoring ones, it shouldn't be much of an issue. Because Triglavian's range are also reduced. They'll not be able to do any damage, really. Get that to go on this drone, because we don't want it to switch like this. Obfuscators really are not really that much of a trouble. I mean, they reduce your targeting range, but... You you're still we're not we're not that kiting hard so that we're out of our targeting range. Our targeting range is seventy kilometers, so maybe we'll go down to like fifty or something kilometers. We're usually in that range. Drone control range is about seventy kilometers, so we could be further away, but we don't want to get out of the forty kilometer range of our missiles. I'm gonna switch targets here, keep them separate. Okay, seems like I'm making a little better time this one. Okay, just under. I mean, we took a little. We started it after like six minutes. So it's gone about uh, three minutes, no, no, four, actually no, five, yeah. Okay, so we're almost done. Let's go to the transfer conduit, keep it range 500. All right, all right, all right, let's go, let's go, come on. I'm using this dark skin, it looks really cool. I don't really like this uh, smoke, I think it looks kind of weird to have that on the ship. How is your ship flying here? It's all broken, all the smoke. Pull these in. Still not used to not having the hotkey ready. Let's go, let's go. Third gate, let's see what we get here. I think it would be cool in the Abyss if they were like, the first wave was really easy, and the second wave was harder, and then the third one was the hardest. That would be like, give a sense of like, it being very, oh, time dilation going on. Kind of give a sense of uh, you know suspense, you know. Okay, this is dead easy wave. We just have to orbit these guys. Put a thermals because these do more damage. They just they are very weak. They're, these hammerheads they die very quickly because they have very little HP compared to the Kadari Navy Vespers. But we just orbit here, NFK. It should be really easy now from now. As I said guys, uh, this is like kind of experimental, so I still wouldn't recommend jumping with this. This is more like a kind of proof of concept and my initial thoughts. I have not run that many sites, like in my video on electricals where I've run hundreds of sites. But this seems to be holding up pretty well in terms of its tanking and kiting ability. You're able to mitigate so much damage because of the speed and the reduced optimal range. So you're just chilling. You don't, I've seen, I've seen a video on uh, a gila in a dark site and they, what they're doing is they use a b and web so they get really close and web stuff and the problem with that is that you're so close that you're going to be taking a lot of damage here you're so far you barely take any damage and the damage you do take is so little and uh, it's often by the missiles uh, that they shoot and usually missiles don't really do much damage so in the abyss at least most damage comes from turret based weapons Cool, first deep watcher down. Each one of these gets easier after each other because the thing is they have like uh, remote reps on each other. So now only one of them is remote repping him before two were. And then the third one will be even easier because no one is remote repping. I haven't been bothered taking the loot because as you guys noticed in the beginning, this is on the CC, uh, which is the test server of EVE Online. I'm doing it here because so then I don't have to risk that much. So now we've got an orange cloud here, so we're not cap stable with the orange cloud online because it makes our shield boost to use more cap. It'll take a while. Okay, last deep watcher down. Or oh, second last one. Look, he's trying to remote wrap him. Now he'll be no remote reps. Let's see what we're getting a little bit here. Look here, we're going to do more damage. 825 DPS. Sick deeps right here with the hammerhead twos. 
Mm, crap loot. Hey, you run a T5. Here's f uh, 15 million loot. Uh, thank you, come again. <laughs> looks a bit weird in the background. It looks uh, purple. It looks like a gamma, actually. It's supposed to be a bit, I thought it was supposed to be a bit darker in the dark sites. You can see here. I've, I've noticed that as well in electricals. Like, sometimes it can be really light blue. Sometimes it can be really dark blue. I actually like the light blue a lot because it looks a bit like it, like a like a sky. Now we got some, we got some, we got some uh, hot rod drivers outside. Go with their motorbikes. I live right next to the road, so that's a common thing that happens. Okay, that's it. Third room done. So that is how you run a T5 in a Gila. Just remember, guys, this is an experimental fit, and uh, I'm still not fully experienced with it. And I'm just leaving my drones there because I can't be bothered because this is a test server, so it doesn't matter. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you later.